So let's fucking go, boys. Let's go. Welcome. Mute yourself. Okay, sorry. All right, so we just started this recording. Thank you guys for being here. It's freaking noon. Uh, for some of you that are watching this recording, maybe it's later in the day, but um, we're going to get this little breathing session and stretch session in. I, I guarantee we'll be done far before 1230. I, I want to spend about 20 minutes here. All right. Um, so let's get into it. So first things first, all right, everyone, everyone, let's stand up. All right. What we're going to do is, you know, we're breathing and we're stretching. So some of this I'm taking from my martial arts um, and some of this I'm taking from just overall uh, stretching and, and we're going to combine some of this stuff. So what is important is our set position, same footwork as we did yesterday, but with your hands, what do I do with my hands? So in the martial arts, we have this saying that your left hand is your emotions and your right hand is your mind. All right. So if emotion is in control of mind, now we're subject to all those ebbs and flows of, of feeling good. And when our emotions are down, we're down. When our emotions are up, we're up. It's tiring, all right? What we want is we want our mind to be in control of our emotions. So when we're in our set position, I want you to make just a light fist with that left hand and then come over top with that right hand, all right? And that's gonna be our set position. From here, we're just gonna do a couple deep big breaths. All right. This is called lion's breath. So we're going to go in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right. And when you're inhaling, press the tongue to the roof of the mouth. And then when you're exhaling, let your tongue drop to the back of your mouth. And I want you to act like you're, um, you're like fogging up a glass. It should make a noise on the exhale. All right. So stay with me on the pace on these inhales. Fill your belly and fill your chest. You're going full, full breath here. Ready? In. In. Hold it on this last one. In. Good. All right, let's unlock our hands. On our inhale, we're gonna reach to the ceiling. And on the exhale, we're gonna fold down and touch our toes. All right, stay with my pace. Ready? In, reach up. And now fold down. Get all that air out. Come back up. In. Reach up as high as you can. And out. Keep your knees straight. In. Reach up, reach up, reach up. Out. All right, good. We got one more drill here to sort of charge our body up. We're trying to increase blood flow. You should feel it. Um, you should be warmer than you were two minutes ago. All right, so we're gonna continue with that. This is called pushing chi. All right, everyone put your right hand out. All right, on the inhale, the left hand will come out and we'll basically switch positions. It'll be, and then on the exhale, we push the right hand out. All right, we got three of these, ready, in. Keep your elbows tight, in. Nice and slow. All right, match breath with movement, in. Out. Good, all right, shake it out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go down. And, uh, and get some work in on the ground here. All right, first one. Okay, let's go down all fours. All right, hands shoulder width apart. And then what you're gonna do, we are in uh, 
dead toe right now. Dead toe. This is live toe. This is dead toe. All right, so we're dead toe. And what you're going to do is you're going to push into the ground and then just push your butt back to your heels. And we're just going to hold this for three breaths. All right, on your own. Breathe for three breaths. Try to make them big, just like we were doing before. Tuck your chin to your chest. All right, you're stretching that front part of your shins and you can also get a stretch in your lats. Good, one more big breath here. Good, now switch that to, to live toe. So you're gonna take those toes and push those into the ground. All right, and then we got three more breaths here, same thing, but now we're in live toe. Push into the ground, push your butt back. One more big breath. All right, good. So leave your right toe, live toe, and bring your left knee up to center. All right, make sure we're linear, narrow base here. Don't let that knee flare out. All right, and then we're just gonna reach up and look up. Push your hips forward. Feel that stretch in that right hip flexor. All right, now lean forward a little more. Let your knee almost come over your toe. Keep that front foot on the ground. All right, and now lean back. Reach back. Look up at the sky, at the ceiling, and breathe. Give me at least one deep breath here. Good. Back up to center, just looking straight up. And now lean to your left. One deep breath here. Breathe into your belly. When you exhale, your belly should actually, your diaphragm should move upwards. Okay, when you finish that exhale, you should have a, like, you should be able to feel your ribs. You finish that exhale. When you inhale, you fill the belly, not the chest, until after you fill the belly, all right? So when we hold these positions, it's really important. It's easy to breathe into your chest and keep the breath up. Focus on breathing, breathing into your belly, all right? Everything's inhaling through the nose here, all right? You can exhale through the mouth, but inhale through the nose. Let's switch. Left foot is live toe behind us. Right foot is out in front. Reach up. Reach up as high as you can. Squeeze that left butt cheek and feel that hip flexor stretch. All right, lean back. Back to center. And then we're gonna lean right. Good. All right, leave your back foot uh, the same, but now make it dead toe, that back left foot, make it dead toe, and then go straight leg with the right. Okay, no bend in this knee, and now lean forward, try to touch your toe. All right, now hold in this position, you're going to let your weight shift back and basically try to sit on that left heel. You're still touching your toe. But now you're almost sitting Indian style, just with that left foot. All right, one more breath here. Tuck your chin. Good, back up. Right knee down, dead toe on the right foot. Left leg straight ahead, toes pointed upward. Reach, keep that left knee straight. Tuck your chin on this next breath. 
Sink your weight back onto that right heel. Still keep this hamstring stretch going on the left. Breathe deeply. Good, back up. All right, so now what you're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the groin. So we're gonna kick our right leg out to the side. We're in dead toe, that left knee that's down, that left foot's in dead toe. All right, and what I want you to do is try to keep your right foot toe facing the camera or forward and, and actually make contact with the whole foot. You shouldn't have too much of a stretch right here, but now as you sink your butt back to your heel, you should feel that stretch in the groin. You can put your hands on the ground. All right, lean forward. Take a deep breath here. Good, push that hip back up. Get a little bit of a stretch in that left hip flexor real quick. And now sink that butt back and get that groin stretch again. Deep breath. Good, back up. Now we're gonna take that right toe and turn it up to the ceiling. All right, so we're still getting the groin, but now we're a little bit more of the uh, closer to the hamstring. Okay, so same idea. We sink the butt back, keep the toe pointed to the ceiling. Deep breath. Good, back up. And then one more, sink the butt back. Try to get your forearms on the ground. Breathe into your belly. All right, good. Switch it over to the other side. Right knee's on the ground. Right foot is dead toe. Left foot out to the side, toe on the ground, point forward. Sink that butt back to your heel. Try to maintain contact with the whole foot. Take a breath. Good, back up, push the hip forward, get a little hip flexor stretch on that right side, and then right back down. All right, back up. Now we're taking the left toe, pointing it towards the ceiling. And we got two more reps here, sink that butt back. Try to lean, take a deep breath. All right, last one, come up, push that right hip forward, quick hip flexor stretch. And then last one on this left groin, take a deep breath. Good. All right, let's pop back up on our feet. Okay, we're loose now. Gonna to continue to focus on these hamstrings, okay? So what we're gonna do is just hang. We're gonna reach for our toes and we're just gonna hang. I want you to tuck your chin, okay? Tuck your chin into your chest and try to get your knuckles all the way to the ground. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bounce, okay? Just a light bounce. Keep those knees locked out. All right, we're gonna do 30 reps, 30 reps, ready? Lean down and then add that bounce. Ready? One, two, three. Tuck the chin. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Good. Hold that stretch now. Try to get your fingers underneath your toes. And give me two deep breaths. Lock the knees out, tuck the chin. Good. All right. Last stretch here, guys. We're going back down to the ground. For my yoga lovers out there, this is our pigeon. Pigeon stretch, okay? So this front foot, we'll say right foot in front, 
right knee in front, trying to get that foot almost across sideways. It's okay, there's a little bend there. And then your back left foot should be dead toe, way behind you. And I want you to reach that left foot further back. Keep, keep pulling that foot back. It's dead toe on that back foot, all right? And now you're gonna try to get your forearms to the ground. Okay, so lean down, get your forearms to the ground, tuck the chin. All right, let's go two deep breaths right here. Full inhales, slow exhales. Good, switch it up. Left foot in front. Okay, get that back right toe into dead toe and mo keep moving it back until you can't move it back any further. All right, and drop those elbows to the ground and we've got two deep breaths. Back to our set position. Okay, last drill here. This is a drill specifically designed to open up the nasal airway. All right, it's our breathing organ. We want to use our nose to breathe, all right, as much as possible. Sometimes we do those big inhales through the nose, we breathe it out through the mouth, all right, but day in and day out, you know, hour by hour, we should be breathing through our nose in and out. All right, so this is a simple trick you guys can use, whether it's, you know, you got a little cold, you're congested, you know, whether allergies, whatever it may be, if you're congested, we can fix that, we can fix that. You don't need any, any crazy solution, all right? You can do it yourself. So we're gonna inhale, now we're gonna breathe lightly. We were breathing heavily before, when you can hear it, that's a heavy breath. That's a big breath. Now we're going to breathe lightly. So no one should hear you breathing. All right. Um, and when you inhale, again, you're going to focus on filling, uh, on going to the belly, but you're, you shouldn't be filling it anymore. Now we're breathing a little bit less air than we normally do. This should be light and low breathing. So we're breathing in lightly, shouldn't hear it. Then we're going to exhale lightly through the nose. And then you're going to pinch your nose. Okay. So now just everyone walk, uh, do this with me. Ready? Inhale lightly. Exhale lightly. Pinch the nose. Keep the mouth closed. Lean your neck left and right, front and back. Okay. Unpinch the nose and breathe in slowly in through the nose. Nice and easy. Find your set position. Take a few slow breaths through the nose. All right, two more breaths and then we're gonna do one more of those. So what we're doing is we're exhaling and then we're holding our breath on the exhale. That's a crucial part to this. We're not holding on the inhale, we're holding on the exhale. All right, that builds up carbon dioxide in our blood. That's that uncomfortable feeling you feel that you wanna breathe in more air. That's a buildup of CO2. You wanna become more comfortable with that feeling all right, and as your nasal airway opens, you might get a little tingly sensation. That is nitric oxide being released. That's an energizer. That's also an anti-inflammatory. It's also antiviral. This, is, this has uh, immune system benefits when you use this correctly. So we inhale through the nose with me in, slowly, and out. Pinch the nose and give me four neck rolls. Two each way. Slow. All right, and keep holding it until you need to let go. Let go and breathe in through the nose. Keep the mouth closed. Catch your breath. If you can hear it, slow it down until you cannot hear your breath. All right. You should all have a little bit more of an open nasal airway than you did. 
a few minutes ago. So we're coming up on 12.25 here, as I promised. I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer. I'm gonna end this recording. Thank you, uh, thank you guys for being here live. Thank you guys if you're watching this recording and uh, hopefully you guys benefited from this. Go get a, go get a good workout in or, or hopefully you just finished a good workout, but um, use that trick to open up your nasal airway. Use it, um, breathe through your nose. This has not only physical benefits, but cognitive benefits. You will improve your focus. You'll improve your ability to think clearly. Uh, you're increasing blood flow in your brain when you, when you build up your CO2. So when you catch your breath, it almost feels like you're finishing up a sprint. And it has a very similar effect, but you don't have to run a sprint. You could literally just hold your breath. All right, so build up your tolerance to CO2. And I promise you, uh, good things will happen. All right.